Hey there, if you want to stabilize a video, you are in the right place. Here, we're going to be doing that into Premiere Pro. If you don't have Premiere Pro, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can get a full discount and actually you can get a free trial for 14 days if you want to take a look here into Adobe Pro. Right, so here as you can see, I have my video. I'm going to just drag that into the timeline. So it's going to be creating me a new project, new sequence. So as you can see, it has this movement I think it's not that visible, but I think uh, I can just try to improve that. And as you can see, this is like the movement that I got so far. Like the person who's recording this is like moving up and down. So as you can see, I'm going to repeat that. It's moving up and down, right? So what I want to do is to make something more stabilized. Like from here, I don't want to see someone walking here into the... Someone to crack the camera. Like if it was more a dolly in movement and something like that, right? So what you guys want to do here is to first select your input and your output. We're going to go into effects. And in here, I'm going to tab STA. Or you can just write warp. And here into the video effects, into the distort section, I can see the warp stabilizer. So I want to drag this into my video. And what's going to happen is that here, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, this plugin is going to be analyzing the background and it's going to be moving, uh, it's going to be making the resolve, the stabilization a little bit more smoother. So in here, I want to move this a little bit more down to see here the results. So here we have the stabilization. You can see the result smooth motion. You want to enable that. Smoothness, I'm going to just leave that into 50% and the method. Uh, if you want to choose, let's say, for example, the perspective, the subspace warp, position. In my case, I want to choose position. And here in the borders, framing, stabilized, crop, and auto scale. I want to choose this option so I can see something more uh, interesting, right? So it's going to happen. It's going to make this a little bit... Uh, like a little, a little zoom and then we can later um, see if it's working for us or not. Now into the additional scale, I just want to leave that 100% and in the advanced, you actually don't want to mess around with that. Just leave it like that, guys. Alright, so here we have the stabilizing. This blue bar changed now into the orange section says stabilizing. We just need to wait just a few seconds more until this um, applies. So after we have successfully see this green bar, this red bar as a yellow one, we just need to hit into play. So if you want, you can upper the smoothness percentage and just hit into the stabilizing. It's going to be taking just a few seconds. But as you can see, we just did that uh, with any additional plugging. We did this uh, totally for free here into Premiere Pro. And after you finish that, you want to go into the sequence, render in to out, so you can render all your process and then you can export that into your own stuff. So that's the latest stuff which you saw here. And there you have it, guys. So hopefully, this was a pretty useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more about this kind of uh, plugin section into Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you next time.